was just at DreamHack, uh, what, a month or so ago? Correct. And won the whole dang thing over so many other phenomenal players who are also here today. Mute is showing up with a peach up against Toffee with the cloud. Yeah, Toffee, a uh, resident of Texas, of course. I do not remember what region he's from, but I remember hearing very good things about him. If he can somehow get that onto the ground to prove my point. And, you know, Cloud, definitely a character that some people, again, they've lost a lot of faith in going from the transition between games, but Cloud, especially in this matchup, he's still got a big sword. Oh, yeah. And on Smashville, he's going to take advantage of it. Yeah, he has a ginormous sword, too. Uh, his buns are not too bad. The up out of shell has been a uh, great blessing to this character. Oh, yeah. And despite being disadvantaged for the first part of the game, he's brought it back to almost near even. Of course, Mude is still in the driver's seat, but you know, that down tilt parry was huge. The fact that he was able to get the back air there. Look at the drift. Oh, that still. off you alive. <laughs> Toffee's still making it back. Surprisingly, he's almost got a limit, too. So if he's able to get that um, that boost, cross slash is now a big threat to my man Mude. Ace, and he gets up the air dodge, and Toffee raises. Whoa, good stuff from Toffee. Toffee's still holding on to this limit, too. Mude's going to try to time that out as much as he can. But we get that blade beam, get that quick 23 before we drop it to the 15 second timer. Yeah, and that's the thing too about the new um, uh, the new limit priorities is that the fact that yeah, it's gonna run away in 15 seconds, but I'm gonna do my damage real quick and mute Ace to making sure that he got that was the only damage he got. Mm -hmm. Down tilt still crossing up, so mute Ace was able to catch that with the back air. It's ready. All right, let's see what Toffee can do here. This would be a huge upset if he's able to beat mute Ace of all people, the Dreamhack winner as you brought up. Mm -hmm. And you know we're seeing that up out of shield, that climb hazard is definitely hazardous to mute Ace right now. It's what, frame six out of shield, it's crazy fast, really difficult to deal with because you can't tech a spike on the ground anymore in this game. Oh yeah, and the, the lag on it is almost like not there, it's non-existent. <gasps> oh! Okay, he got limited the perfect time to survive because otherwise he was done no matter what. But he's still in the corner the though. Movement. What a good delay too with the side B. He's in the corner though, all that percentage that he built up in a winning the neutral. The down air just cleaves through that turn up. He's cutting some, <laughs> cutting some vegetables, making some dinner. Yeah, and accidentally he does not get the forward air to come out in time, so he lost all that pressure that he wanted to get. Oh, that's punishable. But missed the punish. I mean, it's probably something to do with that buffer system here, messing up that forward tilt the wrong way, you know what I mean? I, and I'm loving the delay from Toby, but even then, Mute Ace had the lift trapping on deck and was able to take that stock away from him, but Mute Ace is not looking too healthy himself. If Mami can get the right read, he might be able to end this. Somehow steals the turn up, finds his way down. That forward air is so safe, hard to deal with. Oh, it's super hard to deal with. Okay, down tilt, uh, Kester running away. Toffee thus far is trying his best to make that thing happen. Go. Big punish. You should always be able to parry that last hit. Of course, when there's a mix-up of whether you go for that last hit or not, sometimes drop and shield, not the best idea. Yeah, you get like 20%. And great reaction air dodge, and the side tilt grabs the turn up and kills him at the same time. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That, that tilts in this game grab uh, items from max range. So you can actually grab that turn up from yards away as Cloud. Yeah, God bless. Oh, he's off stage though versus Peach. Oh, and that was such a smart edge guard. Knowing that he had nowhere else to be. Yeah. Toss out that toad, activate the counter. And making sure that he does not lose the game one. Yeah, cleaning up that game one. But it gets so close. It's so close, yeah. Close. Saw Toffee with the lead, but we saw Mudez run it back. Yeah, Mudez really run it back. And it started off with Mudez just kind of like trashing my man the first part of that uh, game. And then Toffee just somehow just, once he got a hit in, it did not stop. It was nothing but raining blows from there. Let's see if, of course, uh, repeat what he did in that first part of the game and maybe just finish out the whole game with that and go into a game three. Mm -hmm. Because it looks like he can do it, but the awesome thing you have to be wary about is that sometimes you have that close game one, mm -hmm. and then you never have that close game again. Right, sometimes you get the, let the pressure get to you. Yeah, exactly. You think I'm sitting down next to Mute Ace, DreamHack champion. Dream what Hack. am I going to do about this? Yeah, the guy who won DreamHack beat Anti, beat Austin, beat Army. He beat a lot of good talent to make sure that he was able to win that. Mm -hmm. Ooh. All right, and I'll have to go back to Smashville. I don't blame him for this. I feel like he did amazingly well on this stage. And it's a great stage for Cloud as well. It's good for both of these characters, I think, but Cloud definitely takes big advantage of that platform in the center. Yeah, I mean, oh, wow. Just, just run up and get that grab. He's conditioned Mute Ace into holding that shield against these big sword hitboxes. It catches him with the cross slash. Exactly, because he's using cross slash a whole bunch. That move is very, very irritating to run into. And, oh my god. He has limit or else he would be done, so. He, and that limit usage has been saving him his life. That plot armor is working great for Toffee. Let's see if it works out in, in the end. The parry, but he crossed up, so Mutes wasn't ready. 
See, Mirage has been getting the work for the ledge, Ooh. and he almost got the work again for the ledge, too. That was great DI, though. He went straight to the corner. That could have been so much worse. That could have been hella worse, too. All right, let's see. Both these guys are swinging right now. Saito should be able to kill. A little commitment with the up B, but not getting punched for it. Mixing up whether he goes for the downwards hit or not, Mirage wasn't ready. And I'm loving the delay from uh, Mirage. He's not really been getting gimped that much. Yeah, how is Toffee surviving? Finally pulling out that air dodge, which is great for Cloud, by the way. He has one of the best directional air dodges in the game. Yeah, and he has a good little stall in most of his recovery, too. Off they got the corner. This might kill. The cross slash raw, no limit, actually just almost killed. Okay, goes for the forward air. All right, he's in the corner versus Cloud, and this is the scariest thing. Do not touch my shield, woman. I might potentially kill you. Yeah, yes. that RP has a shield. You know you can't touch it. It's already good enough when there's not a limit boost, but that limit climb hazard absolutely evaporates your stock. Yeah, you have to be plus on shield a whole bunch, like all of them are plus on shield, <laughs> to get away with that type of stuff against limit Cloud. Okay, the high recovery, catching Munez's aerial early. That booty bump's going to do it, though. Even percent. But Tavi's running is so close. We yeah. were just saying. Like, this might be pools, but it ain't free. Oh, it's hella not free. I hope everyone brought their floaties today. <laughs> I hope they did, because, man, this might be a lot of drowning, and we might see some top players um, be able to enforce the end of that. Look at this pressure from him! My Lanta, I don't know how Mude's got out of that corner, but Toffee was definitely putting on some DBFZ levels of pressure on that shield. Oh, absolutely. It's, I'm just playing the game. Okay, now he's in the corner too, makes it back to Sage. He wins the forward smash, but my man was in no realm to punish him. Yeah, gets that up throw, sets up the juggles. He knows he's not going to combo with any of them, so just put Peach above you. Oh! oh. Misses the read there on the cross slash, so Mudez finds his way down. Now it's Mudez's ledge trap. What a smart air dodge to steal the turn up. He still has his resources right now, and he is making great use of them. Yes, and the turn up ended up working out for a combo. Gets it back to center stage, and the pressure he gets from the turn up allows him to get the cross slash, actually. We're getting real close to limit as well with this ledge trap. He just gets the grab. He knows Mudez is scared of those hitboxes. Yeah, Mutus has got to be scared of the grab now, too. What's he going to do off a ledge? The directional air dodge gets him back to center stage. Cross slash will not kill, but it puts him in the wrong area. How do you get back to center stage? He can't go off stage. Toffee, please, you're scaring me. Oh, my God. Not catching the uh, the medium. You told me he would catch him off ledge. Maybe on a neutral getup he could have, but the invincibility from getup attack, you know, it lasts until the hitbox comes out. That's true. Very good stuff from, from Mute Ace. He's in the corner, though. He's sitting at 182. I feel like up throw might do it here. Forward air is absolutely going to clean that stock up. Yeah. But Toffee is not safe yet. He's not safe. This is a, this is the stock where you can possibly get some change if you can. Mute Ace, of course, being a top player, does not want anybody to get any change on him. Up airs. That was a crazy. I don't know if that was supposed to be a cross slash or what's happening, but he lost that stock because Mute Ace was again able to set up this ledge trap. Oh, just, just do, come out and do it. Just come out and do it. Up smash. Stop floating above me, woman. All right, the cross slash once again, and he's getting all these mix-ups. Mute Ace is now respecting him a lot. We're seeing every time, he's trying to go for these parries, right? Mm -hmm. But we're seeing every time that Toffee is going for the full cross slash, no mix-ups on it. We see Cheeks a lot of the time just go for one, two, and then mix up afterwards, because that jab can come out really quick after. Correct. And thus far, we're just seeing, this less trapping for Toffee has been phenomenal. I thought Cheeks was good at lead trapping. My man has like, yeah, let me read you the book, actually. Man, Mute Ace is sitting at 119 on his last stock. Limit's almost there. Here it is, and Toffee's only at 8.8. .8. Oh, my God, a directional air dodge. I don't know if that was the move right there. Get the, the parry. parry! And we've seen Austin do that consistently as well. You can absolutely parry that cross slash, but Mute Ace didn't get the biggest punish in the world. Even with a down tilt, only got a little baby bit of damage for Peach. Yeah, he's off stage, though. Side B commits to it. Try to get the parry one more time. I don't know if it's a good idea at this point. I feel like at this point, you got to just resign yourself to that shield pressure. All right, he's off stage. Does not get the down tilt. Gets the there to get back to stage. Will now, Toffee's ledge traps come in? Oh, my God. Almost reads the defensive option back. This is looking very, very scary for Mute Ace. Almost anything for Cloud, I feel like, should kill at this point. Okay, but this is also scary for Toffee because you got to hold strong. That spill in the fries isn't going to take him out. Right. It's all stage one more time. The ledge trap has been phenomenal. Just gets off, of, gets off of a forward air. But now it's Mutes' turn to ledge trap. He gets down with the forward air, sends him straight to the opposite corner, and Toffee takes this to a game three. Toffee has been looking phenomenal this whole game, this whole set, and we're in a game three scenario. It is on set. It is on my man's counter pick, though. Nobody's safe in these pools. No one is safe in these pools. I don't care what tournaments you've won. I don't care what players you've beat. At the end of the day, here at Low Tier City, there's plenty of talent. And remember, guys. 
Texas. This is low tier city. This is the biggest major in Texas. A lot of these people have not traveled to the regionals or majors that we have had. So this is when everybody comes out. Houston, all of Texas. Austin, Corpus Christi, RGV. We saw Shattuck do amazing against Danby. Shattuck's taking out Danby, of course, a phenomenal player from the Arkansas area. Yes, and now we're seeing if Mute Ace can somehow uh, stop what is going to be Corpus Christi's main guy, Toffee, or I'm sorry, RGV's, RGV's main, main guy. guy. Right. RGV showing up today, man. They want to put their they want to put their region on the map, and the best way to put the region on the map collect a PGR head. Mm -hmm. Put him in the bag. Put him in the bag. Let's see what happens here, guys. We're going to a game three. Toffee versus Mute Ace. Who is going to win this one? Going to Pokemon Stadium. Going to Pokemon Stadium. I like this idea. I feel like if this was Sam Sora sitting down to play, we might see the hard-headed. I'm going right back to that stage I just lost on kind of counter pick. That's where the the, the peaches differ, right? Yeah. Here he says, I want my space. I don't want to deal with that center platform anymore. That was crazy. And the ledge trapping was almost impossible there. Oh my god, getting hit with back air at the back air though. It's not looking too great for him. The left trapping has been phenomenal for Mute Ace now. Let me show you how it's done, kid. Okay, Dante, he's setting up pressure on this platform. All right, up air, not the up air. Are you going to get with the air dodge? Not at all, but gets punched with an air. And using the sword to punch Peach. Remember in Smash 4, Cloud was very, very good against his character. And I love that Toffee didn't feel the need to burn limit for any particular reason because he knew he had advantage. He doesn't need to just toss out a limit move and maybe drop it, right? He's just going to keep pressing that advantage as far as he can. This forward throw could put him in a really scary situation. He's going to stall. Oh. That was the first time that he got clipped by that turnip. He wasn't ready for the tech. Yeah, wasn't ready to tech it. Just had faith in his own skills there. And unfortunately, his own skills put him in a bad scenario. And it put him in a worse scenario, too. Yune's reaction to that air dodge in with the back air was incredible. Now we're putting on damage after that dash attack on shield. And Toffee's stuck at the ledge. This is the top player effect. You had a phenomenal game one. You had a phenomenal game two. But now on game three, Mutace is turning up. And where are you? Yeah, Mute Age is now awake. It's now on Toffee to, of course, bring this all the way back. He's almost being overlapped already. He's only, what, 7 8%? Mm -hmm. This is where the Peach Star head's popping. And oh! the read on the roll. Mute Age giving people a reality check right now. He said, I am the winner of course, DreamHack. Put some respect on my name. That's crazy. Parrying the Helm Splitter. Putting oh. on Look at the damage. damage. That's actually crazy. That's actually crazy? That's going to be a punish. That's forward throw back off stage. That's my ledge trap. Okay, the platform helping him out. He's able to get back to stage, but he's he is in a dire scenario right now. He has to do the comeback of comebacks. Uh -huh. Mute Ace is sitting at 155, but he's still on the first stock, and Toffee is bleeding. Toffee. He has to use limit to make it back. That turn up bops him. He doesn't have a jump. It's over, and that's a three stock from Mute Ace. What a rebound. What a retaliation. What a great game three for Mute Ace to officially end RGV's hopes on that upset. That's Mute Ace pop it in saying this is the difference there's levels to this this is the difference between the top top highest echelon of talent of pgr level players and the people who are pretty good and rising stars and making in their way yeah i mean no offense rgv did phenomenal he did that phenomenal did nobody can ever take game one two from him game mm. three you know what? he still tried his best mm -hmm. there were moments but God, Mutace is an incredible talent, and his ability to download and change his game plan, and I think the stage played a lot into that as well. Yeah, I feel like it did. Being able to, as, as a smart player, pick that stage as well. I, I, th I think.